Hey guys, I just want to do a quick update on how things are going with my Kratky hydroponic seed starting system. Again, um, what I'm doing here really is plant starting, and it doesn't matter if these get grown out in other hydro systems or go into the ground. Most of these are actually going to go into the ground uh, very, very soon. Big thing is, I want to talk about these Marina lights. They are everything that I was promised that they are. This is Mizuna. And this is like two weeks old. This is basically big enough to call a, you know, not a micro green, like a baby green and eat it. Um, I have in fact been, you know, I put like three or four seeds in each pellet and I've been pulling seeds or pulling seedlings out and eating them. And I think I'm down to only one in each of them, but I got a bunch more started below. This arugula is, God, I guess a week and a half old. And I mean, that's... That's also like a baby leaf size already. I'll grow these out into larger plants, but um, some of these lettuces aren't doing as well. It may be a seed issue, um, but most everything, that's Ford Hort chard back there. These guys here are celery. I always have real problems getting celery to even germinate, but we just finally had those germinate for me, so I'll be able to get my Chinese celery going this year. Everything down here is about a week old. And there's more of the Mizuna, there's some purple lady pak choy, and some other stuff there. And then all that back there, that's just spinach, and none of that's sprouting. It's all the same type and from the same seed source. So I'm wondering if I have an issue here with the seed itself. Um, and then down here, this stuff is less than a week old. This was the last one I put in. I did go to three lights per layer, and uh, because of that, I'm not even closing up the greenhouse anymore. It, it literally gets too hot in there. And to me, the most impressive thing is that is a, what, two, two and a half week old tomato seedling right there. Now, it, this probably is going to be sacrificial. Um, I really can't plant tomatoes this time of year. There's another one there. Um, but my big takeaway from this is whether you want to do it with hydro or just seed trays or however you want to do this, these Barina lights are absolutely awesome. And they're a great deal. You get six of them, the two-footers, which is what these are, six of them for 60 bucks. They're $10 a piece. You can also get four-foot ones, and they're $100 for six of them. And they all daisy chain connect. And this little rack that come that I, I got, you know, for 30 bucks, it's to, to me, it's perfect setup for those lights. So if you want to get your seed starting going uh, this year, consider adding this to, uh, to your repertoire. Whether, like I said, whether you do their hydro or not, doesn't matter. The lights themselves are just awesome. I mean, if you look at the growth of these plants, you know, there's they're no legginess to them. Really, really happy. Hey, we got a little bitty head of lettuce damn near already in there. So uh, anyway, we will uh, catch up with you later.